What's going on guys? My name is Marty. I am in psychology and I am doing a video on uh, learning. Um, basically, it's uh, learning is just how we experience change and knowledge um, and retain that um, by uh, our experience in the outside world. Um, there are two different uh, forms of learning that we're going to talk about today, uh, which are classical conditioning and operant conditioning. Marcus, can you clean up the mess that you made? Later. Later? Yeah. Okay. Hey. <laughs> For every piece of toy that you put away, I'll give you one Skittle. Whoop. I'll give you one Skittle. Okay? Go ahead and put something in your in your room and I'll give you a Skittle. Alright? Go. Go quickly. I'll give you a Skittle. Put it in your room. Yep. Run. Don't fall. Alright, here we go. That wasn't too bad, right? Hey, can you go ahead and clean your mess? Yeah. Why? Because I hate your mess. Okay, go get it. Go get it done. What are you doing? You want another Skittle? Go. Want some more? Yeah, all the, all the green one. Go ahead and pick up the green one. Well, guys, uh, you just witnessed operant conditioning in action. Um, this is how we learn to do certain things uh, for our benefit, but also can learn from it when things could harm us. Um, in the beginning, you just saw my, that my boy didn't respond very well when I asked him to go ahead and clean. Um, but after I told him that I will give him Skittles if he did it, uh, you saw him do it right away. Um, over time, he would learn that if he continues to do this when he hears me ask that of him, uh, he may continue to get stickers, treats, or other forms of reward. Um, if he doesn't do it, he may get time out. In learning, you see stimuli and can responses be part of each other. Um, we learn when stimuli in our environments have some kind of a response. Uh, in classical conditioning, you see that we adjust to stimuli that are presented to us and associate some kind of a response because of it. For example, a new driver learned that the warning sound will not go, excuse me, will go away if he puts his seatbelt on. That he also learned that when the fuel gauge comes on, he better put gas in the car. So with these warning lights, we learned that when new, new stimuli gets introduced, uh, we expect some kind of outcome or um, some kind of behavior. And operant conditioning stimuli makes us do things and we can, that could get, get us rewarded or punished um, depending if we do the task or not. Um, that's how we learn. Um, unconditional stimuli in both classical and operant could have uh, similar uh, conditional responses. Um, also true when stimuli becomes conditioned to form a conditioned response. However, the conditioned response uh, we get in operant would provide a pleasurable or undesirable outcome if we do the task or not. Hey, is it cleaned up? Oh, of course. Yeah, you want some Skittles now? You're gonna have the whole bag. Okay. All right. Thank you for cleaning. 